Hello everybody! Brenda here today on this very pretty Saturday. Um, <clears throat> I am... Oops. <laughs> I am here today to uh, introduce you to a collaboration that I was graciously invited to take part in and I am so thankful and um, this collaboration is with Tanya at Taddy, Tre Taddy Treasures and Nanine at Collage Type. And this is a collaboration for July. So for the month of July, I will be working with these beautiful kits that I'm going to show you and um, making a journal and some ephemera and uh, introducing you to these beautiful kits. So <clears throat> let's get started here. I want to show you the kits. So um, the kits, the kit is called Vintage Botanical Architecture. And um, you can get part of it on Tanya's website or Etsy shop and part of it on Nanine's and I will have the links below that you will need and also the links to the other wonderful uh, uh, team that will be uh, doing this for Tanya and Nanine. So I will have all the links below. Long story short. Okay, so here I am going to start showing you the beautiful kit and this um, I think this is Tanya's in Tanya's shop, but I can't for 100% tell you for sure. So, um, <clears throat> you'll just have to, uh, look at both, uh, Etsy shops and decide for yourself, <clears throat> excuse me, what is what and what you would like to, um, see. So, Vintage Botanical Architecture, and I'm only going to show you the front of these because I have not yet uh, printed on the back, but I will be printing on the back uh, when I do my journal. So here are the pages and it's a, a very beautiful, big, uh, large kit. So I'm going to go a little quickly, but I wanted to show you these uh, beautiful, beautiful botanical pages. Very, very pretty. Please don't expect me to, <laughs> to give you the name of the flowers because I am not at all a botanist. <laughs> so, but these, uh, these uh, pictures, these flowers are absolutely beautiful. And they are going to be wonderful in my... Uh, botanical journal. Absolutely love them. Now, since this is also, um, it's like botanical architecture, we, we will also be having some architecture, architectural pictures. Here is the second kit. <clears throat> I love how they have um, some uh, plants or flowers on one side and then some uh, like library cards or some dictionary writing or um, whatever on the other side. Beautiful. Love these pictures. Look at this one. Absolutely beautiful. Of course I'm partial to blue so that helps too. But these are going to be so fun to work with. I think I had two here. Oh, look at that one. Beautiful. I can't wait to start. Uh, to start my uh, my journal 
just going along at a steady pace, if that's okay. Get through this, and then we have some, um, this is a collage page, which I love. <clears throat> and then we have a full page of beautiful flowers. And then we start getting into the architecture um, in, you know, along with the uh, uh, flowers and plants. Beautiful. I love this one. Look at that. Absolutely love it. So we have that. We have some music page with a Looks like a window up here. Have a couple of windows on this one. <clears throat> a window and a key. Some, looks like some church. To me, it looks like some church windows. Beautiful door. And then we have what I would probably use as some background pages. So we have this one and this one, this one. So I will be choosing some of these for the backgrounds of my signatures. This one, I like this one too, it's very pretty. And then we have also some fussy cuts. Which, as you can see, I have not cut out yet. But I have uh, actually cut out some of these fussy cuts. So all the fussy cuts are not here from the kit. Because I do, um, I have started uh, cutting out some of my fussy cuts. Aren't these pretty? Oh, beautiful, beautiful job. Lots of pretty flowers to play with. And to Fussy Cut. I have my work cut out for me this month. And here's the last fussy cut. So, as you can see, this is quite a lot to play with in these kits. So this is Vintage Botanical Architecture Collaboration Kits. I will have all the listings below. Uh, to find the kits and, and to uh, see who's on the team. So, um, thank you, Tanya and Nanine, for such beautiful work. I will be having a lot of fun playing with and creating with these beautiful kits. So, my plan is to... I'm going to set these aside. My plan is to make a journal, hardcover journal. I'm thinking of using this uh, Perennials for American Gardens book. I will be using the cover because, of course, it is a beautiful green on the back. is the same. And also because I will be using maybe some of the, it is a garden book, so I will be using maybe some of the pictures on the inside along with um, the digi kits. And this is just, uh, yeah, it's per Perennials for American Gardens. So this is the book I will be using. I'm planning on maybe five, oh, <laughs> it's heavy. Planning on five signatures. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Probably five signatures. So um, this might be a chunky monkey. So that is my plan for that. So for
for today. I'm going to set this aside and do and start one of my projects today, which will be, I'm thinking of making first, because I don't have anything else ready at the time. Uh, I need to get my signatures ready and do some more fussy cutting. I know. So anyway, what I was planning on doing today was making a writing board because I do want to include a writing board in my journal this time. Um, and I did get one of the uh, pictures out of the book that I will be using. So I thought I would have maybe this on the front of my uh, writing board and put just uh, some book page on the back. So I think we will start making that today. I need to get my glass mat out. For those of you who are new and maybe not know about the writing boards or have not made one, um, these are for to add into your journal so that they have a nice surface to uh, put your paper on and you slide it right in to your journal like so and then you have a nice firm surface to write on in your journal. So that is why we are going to make this writing board and I am going to need, um, actually, I cut this, this is a piece of chipboard, okay? And I cut this down to, it was like 12 inches or so. I cut this down to seven wide by nine tall, cause that's um, about the size my journal will be. Actually, my journal is gonna be a little bigger than that, but this will still work. So, first things first, we need to get some Mod Podge. <clears throat> and I probably am going to need some wipes. Let me grab those real quick. Okay, so for the front, I thought about maybe um, putting this on the front and I know this is uh, white quite white but I will be toning that down with some um, distress I'm wondering if I should do it before or after I think I'll do it after yes so um, first things first we need two get on some Mod Podge. Oops, this evidently is a new Mod Podge. So, uh, see if I can get this off. I hope you guys are having a beautiful day today. It's nice and sunny. And, uh, I can't get that off. Use my old poke in the middle trick. Now see that already I'm going to need a wipe. <laughs> I knew it. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Got that. We got that far. Making a mess already, which I knew I would. Mm. That's why I grabbed my wipes. Okay. So, let's get some down on our board. And get it ready for our front. See 
see if I can partially get this in the middle. And then we want to put some on the top. And on the top, when I uh, add the, the Mod Podge, I try to make the Mod Podge go in one direction. Try to smooth it out as much as possible. Now this is going to buckle and what I will be doing is putting um, a putting my book over it or something over it to let it dry. Let me get this up and Get this all wiped off. Okay. <clears throat> now, can I do the back or should I let it dry? And I don't have my, um, my heat gun yet so maybe set it on some wax paper maybe so I can do the other side Let's see if that will work Well, I got that on real straight, didn't I? Okay, let's see if we can get the other side done. Maybe it will start buckling back the other way, but I'll probably have to put a nice book, heavy book on it for overnight. Let's see if I can get this on any straighter. Alrighty. It took me a while to find, um, well, it didn't, it wasn't bad for the, uh, the front side to find a page that would fit, but for the back side, I had to get quite a big page that I thought would uh, fit for the job. So, um, it took me a bit to find something big enough. So this is going to buckle, but as it dries, it should um, settle down. It should. It usually does. Okay. Trying to go all in one motion here. Sure, it's stuck down. I think that side is this corner and this corner. Okay. Well, I 
think that's all we can do with this for now. But um, <clears throat> after it dries, my plan is <clears throat> to maybe uh, decorate the back a little more with something. And I don't know about the front, but I'm probably not the front because um, I want the surface to be really good for really flat for uh, writing, but um, next time after this is dry, we will finish up the writing board and I have some, um, I'm going to be putting some corner, corners on and I got these out of Amazon. So I'll be doing that. Probably be trying to, I've never done this before, but this uh, nail file, a lot of people go over the edges with a nail file. And um, I'll try that next time. And also I will be uh, trying to find my gold gilding paste. And my plan is to go around the, uh, edges with the gold I think I have gold somewhere I will find it if I have it so guys let me see here collaboration Tanya at Taddy Treasures and Nanine at Collage Type this is for the month of July it's going to be a fun thing to watch so um, I will continue on with the writing board uh, next time and uh, probably a few other things because it shouldn't take long to finish this up and um, <clears throat> If you are new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button like and comment and new shows you no know, new videos will come up uh, so um, When they are available uh, welcome to you to the new ones. I am very happy that you joined our uh, channel. And let's see, I hope you have a wonderful, blessed weekend and a wonderful 4th of July. And I will hopefully see you next time when we continue on for the month of July, our collaboration team and uh, creation for the team. So that's collaboration, Tanya at Taddy Treasures, Nanine at Collage Type. Thank you so much, Tanya and Nanine. And I will have everything listed below. You guys have a great weekend and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye everybody.